Hi everybody, I uh, hope everybody's doing well. Uh, today's video is going to be a little bit different than other videos we've done on our channel. Uh, I sometimes like doing techie stuff uh, uh, with the computer and editing and stuff like that. And I, sometimes I run into problems that if I download a picture from my iCloud or, uh, or if I scan a picture, whenever on the computer the information gives the date of the creation date of today or whenever I scan or whenever I download it. And that's not, you know, when you're trying to organize your pictures, I, I try to use Plex when I when to view our pictures. It puts them in a uh, messed up order because it's not the original date when it was taken. So uh, today I'm gonna show you how you can fix that and I'm gonna jump on my computer uh, to show you. So here basically is my iCloud and my pictures and I'm gonna go with this picture here. I know it was taken in October of 2017 because it says it right up here. And that's me and my wife on October 9th, 2017, we were at Balboa Park. So I'm going to download that. It gives today's creation date as of today, September 2nd, 2019, 8, 15 p.m. I know that's not the case because I know when this picture was taken. If you go into this information here, uh, it gives you a little bit more information, but here it does give you the, the, the original date. But when you organize them, it, it uses this date and it puts them in that order. Uh, so what I want to do is change this date so when I import it anywhere, it comes up as original date. Here it gives you some information and you know GPS and stuff like that. So anyways, what you do, we'll close out of this. I use this program. It's called Photos Exif Editor. Let's delete this picture and start all over here to show you how to do it. So basically, I downloaded, I downloaded my picture to my download folder. So I just grabbed that picture and put it here. So here it gives me all the information. And here it does have the correct date. But here I can add some more stuff. Like I, it was, I created it. So it's my picture. The image description. The image description we uh, put it as uh, we'll put it as 20th and uh, anniversary trip and you can put more information here you know if I want to put more and it's going to embed it all into the to the picture so that's the creation date and then uh, here I have more information it shows me the exact location I know it was in San Diego and if you start zooming in it knows it's in Bal Balboa Park. So here you can use keywords. So I can put uh, 20th San Diego. Uh, so basically when I, once I made all my changes that I wanted to do, I have a folder here and I, I called it EXIF. So I just go start process, it's got, it's select the EXIF folder, and I just click, and what it's gonna do, it's gonna put that picture in there, and now, if you go here, and you check the information, it was created on Monday, October 9th, 2017 at 3.37. As my keywords, you know, what I just put in there, and it has all the other information that, so, I don't know why why it does that when you download it from the from the website, but uh, or from from iCloud. I don't like using iPhoto, but um, that's that's been helpful to me. And another thing is too, when you scan a picture, scan a picture, and I'm gonna go into scan a picture real quick. So the problem is when you scan a picture, it gets it's gonna give you the information of today when it really you know the picture wasn't taken today; it was taken whenever it was taken. So I'm using a picture here of when my wife and I went on our honeymoon. Uh, so then I send it to a, my folder. It's gonna send it to my pictures folder, the JPEG. Okay, so I got this picture now. And if I click on the info, it's gonna make it today's date, September 20th, 2019. This isn't really gonna have any info because it was just scanned. So what I do, get the picture drag it in here my picture image description uh, we were in Maui and you could just start putting putting information here 
Uh, but that, I, it was, I don't even know what type of camera it was, but I know the original creation date was September 27th, 1997. And I mean, you could change the time too if you want. I, I, I really never changed the time. Um, so original date, creation date was 27th of 1997 and the modified date I just make them all the same 27th 1997 okay and then if I want if I had the information for the camera and all the information about the camera uh, I could put it there but I don't I do want to put the GPS so the location I know it was La Haina Hawaii that's where that picture was taken. So if I could put all this information if I would want it to, but I would put a couple of keywords, Maui, honeymoon, uh, 1997, and any other information that you would want. So now I have my picture. So we'll just select the destination. And now, if I go in here, I have this scan picture from that I just did right now. And if I look through the information, September 27th, 1997. It gives me all the correct information now. It gives me my GPS information of where it was at. And you know, if I put extra information on there, it would all be there. Uh, so now when you when you uh, organize your photos they, they go in the date that you that you uh, that you created them also if you know that you took 20 30 pictures you could put them all in here at one time and you can just modify them all at one time and it makes it nice and easy now what I, then I rename them I rename uh, this would be honeymoon and the way I name them, I put the year first, 1997, the month, 09, and the date, 27, underscore. And then I put what it was, uh, honeymoon. And then I put my initials and my wife's initials, JHG, EXG. And then whatever the, the, the picture is, you know, honeymoon zero one. And the reason I do that is because they'll organize them all as, as you know, when you look at it in the in, in, in file, you, you know the year, what it was and who's in it. If my kids are in it, I put their initials or my parents, who's ever in it, you know, who, whoever is in the picture, I put their initials there. So like that, I can just do a search for initials if I want. So. Then I could just put them in whatever folder I want, and you know, I go into, I go into my Plex folder and put it in there, and keep my photo, keep my photos nice and organized. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know there are a lot of other tools you can use. This is the one I like. I just sit at my desk an hour or two a week and just fix a couple of pictures and and uh, try to keep me organized. Uh, hope hopefully you enjoyed this video and it helps you out as well. Uh, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and we'll keep on putting out content like this as well because this is uh, some of the stuff we do around the house and, and, you know, to keep us, try to keep us organized around our house and stuff like that and, and keep our memories and, and everything that we do. Hope you have a good day and uh, thank you for watching.